Uh, the outcome of today's amendments to the county budget is that five nonprofit agencies will be fully funded for 2020. Uh, those agencies will be Community Action Program, United Way 211, the Women's Community, the Entrepreneurial Boot Camp, and what was the last one? Northwest. North Central. Central. Historical no. Society. Historical right? Society. <laughs> Thank you, Liz. <laughs> That's a lot to remember at 10 o'clock at night. So, <laughs> so those are what they are. Um, all of the others will still uh, incur a 25% reduction, including the fair and other, other projects. And what they did is they decided to take a list, look at the list and determine what were the priorities. And they kept them at full funding. But I also heard, as people were discussing, that they will be looking to those agencies to try to diversify their funding sources because the county is increasingly financially strapped by state-imposed levy caps. So while, they, while the funding is secure for now, um, it will still be in question in future years. And then where is that funding coming from to make sure they have 100%? Well, one of the stories that, that uh, John Robinson said um, when he called me on the phone, and he was joking, I think, he says, you know, and because of the way you constructed this budget, we're taking it out of your pay. <laughs> but not really, because I'm not getting paid in 2012, 20. <laughs> so, so it's coming out of the vacancy in the administrator job, and then if there is a promotion out of the subsequent vacancy in the deputy county administrator job. So they, they realistically assessed, and I came to the same conclusion, they won't have anybody on, actually on the property getting paid till May 1st. Um, I don't know why I didn't catch that in the budget when I did it. I didn't even think of it, because the last person you think of when you have 750 people and 200 and some programs is yourself. <laughs> so it just never occurred to me that, 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 that there was available funds there to do something else with. So is that the funding for all five, or is it just for the women? It is the funding for all five. Okay. Mm -hmm. So then I kind of have to ask on a personal note, how does it feel then knowing that the money that had you stayed on is going to help kind of well, that's save great. five That's great. I, I supported actually all of those programs. I, I uh, you know, these cuts were um, part of a consensus of the board over a period of years, and I'm sorry to see that happen. I never thought that was my money. <laughs> you know, so I think that if that's a, that's a viable option, let's go do that. You know, they were gonna take it just out of, there was some discussion about just taking it out of anticipated turnover elsewhere. Well, why would you take out a possible turnover when you have known turnover? It seems like that's a little bit more concrete. Yep. And the final amendment that reduced the tax rate by one cent, is that what I'm understanding? Yes, it did. Wrong? We had anticipated a borrowing rate based on the expertise of people in that market, and we got a much better rate. We got a rate of about 1.7% on a 10-year note, mostly for the pool and other things. And uh, that reduced our our debt load um, and it had the impact of taking our eight cent per thousand reduction, making a nine cents reduction. So you're putting nine cents toward the right now behind the No, nine cents, uh, your tax rate, if your value of your house stayed the same, for every, so every uh, thousand value, you'd save nine cents. Okay. Before you were gonna save eight cents, now you're saving nine. Don't spend it all in one place. Because <laughs> I don't know how valuable your house is, but a dime doesn't add up to be that much. <laughs> uh, you know, so you know, see some of the other municipalities, they're increasing the tax rate by 22% and stuff like that. That adds up a lot faster than a dime. But uh, you know, the, the truth is, um, our county would be in better shape if we could have kept the tax rate the same. Um, we could, you know, a lot of these discussions that happened today didn't have to happen had we had the taxing authority to do what was in the best interest of a residents of our county. The state imposed levy caps have gone beyond their useless and are damaging to the interests of the public. And, uh, you know, it's caused us to borrow for things we would pay cash for before. My best example of that is the county roads. We redo the we do maintenance on them. We rebuild them. We don't end up with a new county highway U or a new county highway N. We just update and maintain it. That, that should be paid with tax levy, not with borrowing over 10 or 20 years. The, if we build a whole new county highway that we didn't have before, or a bridge or something that's gonna last 25 years, 
That's different. But maintaining the bridge and maintaining those roads should be paid for with levy. We always did that in the past. The 15-year cumulative impact of those levy constraints have caused us to do things that do the same things we did before, but they cost the taxpayers more. I'm still with mentioning that the state uh, tax levy caps are kind of hindering counties. Another talk tonight about the state kind of hindering counties was with the new DA positions because there was an amendment to get that funding from a county program that ended up failing. So what will happen with the funding for that position? I'll tell you, that has been an issue for the whole 31 years I have been here. I mean, they, there has been a belief that has been doc locally that has been documented by the state's own analysis that they are not properly funding prosecutions. I, I take that back. It hasn't been an issue for the whole 31 years because they used to be county positions. <laughs> so, so, but ever since the state took it over, um, and, and everyone had, was very hopeful when that happened, that the pay was going to go up. That's why the district attorney is associated with it. It went down. And uh, that, that uh, it was going to be easier on the locals not to have to pay for those prosecutor positions. So, but it's been a, a long-term issue, unresolved. Um, it's compounded by them not funding pay progression. It's because if you don't have enough people, at least you want experienced people because they work faster. <laughs> And they work more thoroughly. So now you got the worst of both worlds. You got a lot of new starters, and you don't have enough people. So you end up giving them a caseload that they're not really prepared to handle. You know, none of this sounds should be that unique. I've heard the same kind of thing in the media. <laughs> so this is not the most unique thing I've ever heard. But you know, it, it is. You know, it wasn't helpful to the media to, to, to you know, not have enough people to cover things or, or do their jobs completely and, and uh, not be able to fund those positions at a, at a level that, uh, uh, that uh, people want to stay. And I think the same thing's true there. But, you know, the, the issue, too, is we know we don't have enough judges. The state hasn't funded those either. I mean, I, I think it was 10 years ago Judge Huber said there's a bill, bill coming and it's coming any day now. Well, 10 years went by and it still hasn't come, but we think it is coming. That's the one that has recently I think it's on its way. Okay. So, so there has been progress. Let's not, let's not forget, though, why we're disappointed that we didn't get all the DA positions that we asked for. We did get four and a half from the legislature. And, and, and the you. governor took away one. We backed two and a half out of the budget. We should have never been paying for in the first place. So the, uh, you know, we do have an extra prosecutor, but we've also rebalanced and, and, and put us in the proper position in that, that we're not paying for those two and a half prosecutors that we were before because we knew and we had enough money to do it. Right now, we don't have enough money to do it. You know, it's, it's easy to be generous when you have some extra money. When you don't, it's harder to be generous.